<laughs> Sorry. Hi everyone, my name is Juliette Leong. I'm four years old. Today I'm going to read some of my poems. This one is about virtual vacation. We couldn't go anywhere in the sickness, so I painted my own vacation. So it's like we're in a vacation. Virtual vacations, pandemic style. Pandemic can stop me from wishing. Pandemic won't keep me from dreaming. Stop complaining and don't waste time negotiating. Oh, you hold. Can take a virtual vacation for any occasion. Pandemic can stop me, and you can stop me. This one is about we. So, for because my mom didn't ask me to go play outside, then I painted my own painting of going outside, and then I. I looked out the window and then I saw a bunch of animals hunting, also birds and owls. But owls are not dying; they're not. Also, they sleep in the day. Okay, I'll just try to wake my one up. <laughs> Diversify for us. Birds are hiding. Owls are hunting. Who will win a meal? Who will die tonight? You better hide well, or you will be my food tonight. Yum yum. This painting is about we couldn't go outside. We couldn't go inside to play with my friends. So my brother and me thought we can go outside and play, but not that far. We can like go just. In our backyard, you can do jump rope, and also you can just play soccer. Our summer vacation was just in my backyard, playing outside. Even if we couldn't go anywhere, I'd be glad to be in the rainbow and sun, so my brother and I could play outside before the sun sets. The sun and trees look beautiful. I'm playing jump rope. My brother is playing ball, and that's our summer vacation. This one is about uh, like kids being wild and go outside and have fun and just be wild like these flowers. And like you can do jump like a frog and do everything you want. <laughs> I don't want to be stuck inside. I want to go outside and have fun and be wild. A beautiful wild bunch, like the coronavirus of the 2019, is roses will not survive in quarantine. They are meant to be wild, like how people are meant to smile. Children are made to socialize, and ideas are supposed to globalize. This one is about my dad's vacation. Um, where was he going? Reno, Reno, Beth. Yeah, I painted these ones when he was driving. I painted it. My sky friend said he he was drove, driving in thunder, so we painted a painting of thunder here and like like Nina and Don are like. This one is for my dad, and I love him, so I missed him too. This one is about he is driving through a thunderstorm. Once upon a time, on a clear day, my dad was on his way to a rhino buffet. My sky friends told me that on his way. There would be lightning and thunder delay. I painted the message, and at the same time he was traveling through the wreckage. And when I called 
to ask about his drive. He said he drove through a storm to arrive. So this one is the saddest one. This one is for my mom. I always sing it to her so she can go to sleep. Also, my mom doesn't actually read me my books, but my dad like jump ropes me, and I just have. Okay, back to this story. So this one is a sunset. I can read you this after, and it was like so sad to my mom. It was like once one day I won't be your baby anymore. Tomorrow, Mom, how do we get back to yesterday? If there's a will, there's a way. Then why can't we turn back time? If for every action there's a reaction, then why is there no reaction to time passing? Time is the only thing that you can get back. Time doesn't stop. Tomorrow I'll come. I will continue to grow. And one day I won't be your baby anymore. Hi everyone. Thanks for listening to my poems. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Juliet. Remember that. Bye.